Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new, my name is Kylene and today I'm going to be vlogging again for you guys. And I'm gonna be showing you guys us packing for our first trip as a family, which I am so freaking excited about. We are going to Coronado, California and we're leaving Saturday and we're coming back Tuesday. So we're gonna be there for three nights, four days, and we're driving there, which does make me a little nervous driving with a newborn um, just because we haven't done it clearly, but we want to travel as much as we can with him and we don't want our lives to stop just because we had a baby. So he needs to get used to it and we need to get used to it. I'm definitely nervous for the drive just because I don't do much to entertain him right now. I mean, he's literally a month old, so I'm hoping that he does well. He normally does really like the car, so I'm just really hoping he'll sleep after he eats. But we're gonna bring some books and like a couple like rattle toys and stuff and see how it goes. So wish us luck. But yeah, I went to Target today to get some things that I needed, so I wanted to show you guys that. Okay, like I said, I went to Target to get a few things. So I'm gonna show you guys what I needed first. Um, the first was just some like sunscreen. I wanted to make sure it was like a kid's sunscreen I don't know, but I just got the Target brand SPF 50 just to lather on him because we do plan on going to the beach and like going on bike rides and I want to like wear him and ride around Coronado. So super excited about that. Um, I also got these like little reusable containers for like his shampoo and his lotion so we don't have to lull that huge bottle around. And then for me, I wanted to get some hairspray, which I put in my hair. I just freshly curled it and I just put this in. So I feel like it's like making them look like kind of crazy, but they'll calm down. But I really don't want to have to like wash my hair while we're on the trip because I don't want to waste time getting ready. So I got that to keep my curls and then I got some dry shampoo so it, we don't look greasy, you know? And then the rest of the stuff that I got was fun. And my mom actually went with me and she got me all this, which was so sweet of her. We haven't really had like a shopping day in a long time together. Actually, I can't even really think of like the last time we did. She saw me like looking through and at the end she's like, okay, like we're gonna go pick out those things, which just a little side note, I am so lucky to have my mom. She literally came over today, cut all of the plants in our front yard. She has been on fall break, she works for a school. And so she's been here the past two weeks, just like holding Rocky so that I can get stuff done. And even though like he doesn't really require a lot, like it's just super nice to know that like if he does wake up or his binky does fall out of his mouth, like she can help him. And I was able to like record for the podcast with Abby and do a bunch of work there. And I've been able to do like my YouTube stuff. So yeah, anyways, love you mom. I know you're watching this. <laughs> okay, so she got me these sunglasses, which I thought were super cute. I only tried them on with a mask, so I'm hoping they look good. They're definitely like bug-eyed, but I just feel like that when I wear them, but I love them. I haven't bought in a pair of sunglasses in the longest time, so she got me those. And then I saw these earrings, and I was like, mom, you should get those. And I was like, wait, I actually really like those. So we both got these. We're gonna match. Um, they're the, just the universal threads. I swear, every time I try and show you guys something, like it doesn't focus, but you get the idea. They're like little U-shaped, upside down, whatever. And then she got me this super freaking cute sweat set. So it's like the jogger pants that are like this tie-dye with olive green and tan. And then it had a matching sweatshirt too, which I'll insert a photo of me wearing it for you guys. Or you know what, if I don't, just follow me on Instagram. I'm sure I'll post a photo in it or just watch the next vlog of us being in California and I'll wear it there. So that is my little mini Target haul. Oh. Sorry, you guys are on a table and that just went crazy. But she also got me this little container because it was like $3 and I was gonna put it back. And she was like, Kylene, just let me get it. So she's super sweet. But anyways, Rocky needs to wake up right now and eat. So I'm hoping that I'll have time to film just like me packing and whatnot. It is 4.30 right now, so Nathaniel's almost home, which when he gets home, like we do dinner and like we have Rocky play on the ground for a little bit, go on a walk, do bath time, and then we literally go to bed at like 8.30. So I don't know if I'm gonna pick this up later tonight or tomorrow. If it's tonight, I'm literally chilling in my pajama shirt. So yeah, it'll be a nice cozy little pack with me at night, but if not, I will show you guys tomorrow what I pack. Also, I wanted to add, I have my six week postpartum appointment tomorrow morning, which I'm really kind of dreading because I did not know, but they have to check you just to make sure you're good, which makes sense. But yeah, not gonna be fun, but I am excited to be cleared and like just be back to normal. So that's exciting. So I'll let you guys know how that goes too. I'm trying to wake Rocky up and I just have to show you guys because he just is always so tired. He hears me, so he's waking up, but we've been, swaddling during naps as well and he's sleeping so well and of course i was watching him through a monitor while he was sleeping in the snuggle me he's just so freaking cute i'm just obsessed with him guys like i know i'm annoying but how could you not be obsessed with him and his hair that literally like look if you could go like this 
it like still goes back up. Anyways, my cutie boy. Okay, while I'm nursing Rocky, I just wanted to talk about one other thing that I'm nervous about with vacationing is nursing him like in public because normally I nurse without a shirt on. I have my haka and I'm super exposed and yeah, so today when I went to Target with my mom, I tried nursing in the car without exposing myself and it went all right. It was kind of hard. I forgot my nursing cover, so I just used like a blanket, but it's definitely hard and it's something that I'm gonna have to get used to. So I'm really hoping that that goes well. But yeah, and I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna bring my haka because I might bring it just to like get some milk out, but I don't wanna worry about like storing my milk the entire weekend and then having to keep it cool on the ride home and all that kind of stuff. So it's just gonna be a little bit different, but I'm hoping it'll go well. I'm just gonna nurse him on both sides every single time and just hope everything goes well. So if you guys have any tips on that, this I am hoping to get posted before we leave. So hopefully you guys can help me out a little bit with that. Yeah, that is another little concern that I'm hoping won't be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine, but just wanted to share. I think I'm gonna pack tomorrow because I'm tired and I just wanna hang out, but I wanted to talk about something we talked about and it's Rocky putting his feet down for the first time. Oh yeah. So do you want to say it or do you want me to say it? I can say it. Yeah. Uh, we had this like, Kyleen had this like revelation <laughs> because it <laughs> blew our freaking minds um, that Rocky's feet have never touched the earth. So the first Isn't time- is that crazy? Feet, I know, it's, yeah. <laughs> And the first time um, his feet are gonna touch the earth is gonna be in the sand in California. So Which is we're like, super excited. Yeah. yeah. No, and it's like my favorite freaking place in the world is just like the beach. And there's that whole thing with like grounding too. Do you yeah. believe that? Yeah. I feel like if anything, like it makes me happier every time I oh, get yeah. in the sand. Like, I agree. So I don't know what that is, but. So if you guys don't know what grounding is, it's like the fact that like your feet like are supposed to touch the earth. What is it? Like pass through just like. I don't, I don't know, know what, yeah. but like basically like we, as our ancestors like never wore shoes and like we now as humans, like our feet never actually touch the ground. I do know that your feet have the most pores in your head or in your body besides your head. Um, Cause I used to like for work, I would do that foot bath. <laughs> but yeah, he's gonna touch the sand and he's gonna touch the water. He's probably not gonna like the water because it's gonna be so cold. <laughs> but I don't know, we're just super excited for it to be the ocean, you know, and the sand in a place that makes us happy. I also heard too that the Skinny Confidential said that whenever they're hungover, they go to the beach and they feel better. <laughs> That'd be nice to live that close. I know, yeah. I'm like, what a nice yeah. life that you could do that. But yeah. anyways. Just here to document the fact that I'm gonna take my makeup off. So for all of you who judged me in that last video, I was judging myself, but I'll take it off, I promise. <laughs> Good morning you guys, it is the next day. I just got ready and I just wanted to like document the fact that I got ready while Rocky was awake. And normally I wait until he like takes a nap, but he just chilled right here with me the entire time and I'm so proud of him. He's trying to fall asleep now, but he seriously was so good. I already don't get ready often. Having a baby would be an excuse not to get ready even more. So I'm just really hoping that, yes, this is only one time of it working, but we are able to continue to get ready while he's awake. So I'm gonna lay him down though. Um, I do need to get ready. I'm going to a doctor's appointment for my six week postpartum checkup, which I'll talk to you guys in a second about, but I need to leave in about 30 minutes or so. So I'm gonna get him all situated. Hi, baby. Hi, Rocky boy. Are you happy? You all dressed in your cute Levi's outfit? Are you ready to go see Mimi and Auntie Bran and Auntie Kels? All right, we are all ready to go. I wanted to see if I could catch it on camera because yesterday he was looking in the mirror and smiling at himself, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it like on my own. I clearly can't see what I'm filming, but Rocky. Hey, baby. Baby. Rocky boy. Yeah, I can't do it by myself. Maybe when Nathaniel's home, I can hopefully get it, but he was straight up looking at himself and like smiling. Let's see, Rocky. Who is that? Who is that? That's you, baby. That's a smaller thing to look at, huh? Yeah. Oh, baby. You got the hiccups? Okay, I kind of feel super bougie with these glasses on, but whatever. I am ready and out the door at 9.15. My appointment's not till 10.10, and I just have to drop Rocky off at my mom's house. Any of you single parents out there that do everything on your own, props to you because it is a lot to get yourself ready and your baby ready 
and be out the door on time. It's super crazy because like this is the first time I'm leaving him. I left him once a couple weeks ago, I think like a week and a half ago, but Nathaniel was like at my parents' house with my mom, so I don't really think that counts. So this is the first time that someone is watching him without Nathaniel or I there. Kind of sad, but kind of fun. I know my mom is like super excited. Okay, I just got to my mom's to drop off Rocky and I just have to show you how dedicated she is. Her youngest kid is 13, <laughs> but she doesn't stop. <laughs> it's so cute and like all of this, she said lights up. And then we've got all of this. So Kyler was very upset that Easter I did not decorate. <laughs> and he let me know that I need to continue to decorate because he loves my decorations. And Kyler is 18 <laughs> for those of you who are in sure. college. There we go. Yeah, yeah, he's a freshman in college. So I think there's more out here. Is that yeah, what you said? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, not a lot. Let's look. Is that, that a scary goes, thing? Yeah. yeah. And then we made these at the cabin out of like a dollar. Oh my gosh, them cement, cement. Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna paint it them. Well, that's a good idea if anyone wants an idea. <laughs> and then, of course, I cut this tree and I knew Dad would be upset. Oh my gosh. So I put a caution sign up, a crime scene. <laughs> you are funny. Oh my gosh. So cute. All right, just got out of my appointment, and you guys, it wasn't that bad. I swear, I always work things up to be way worse than they are. I did have to get a pap smear, which I was like, lovely, let's just add to it. But everything looks good, she said. I think I have like one stitch that's like barely hanging on that's gonna dissolve, that's fine. But I am cleared to work out, I am cleared to go in the water, and I'm cleared to love my husband. <laughs> Okay, I'm back home and I just wanted to give an update on my appointment just like a little bit further. So I know a lot of you guys asked about my gestational diabetes and like what kind of happened. So gestational diabetes, if you guys don't know, is only when you are pregnant. So as soon as I delivered, they stopped checking my blood. But during labor, they checked it every single hour. And so yeah, I haven't checked it since I delivered. So when I had my appointment today, she said she wants me to do a two hour fasted glucose test just to make sure I don't have regular diabetes now, which I honestly just don't think I do. I didn't really think I had gestational diabetes, but I also still have my glucometer at home, so I might just like do my own test, I don't know. I might do the appointment just to be safe, but that's basically an update with that. And then, yeah, I can't remember what else I wanted to say, but I think that was the main thing. So I just got home, I'm making myself some lunch, and then I'm gonna get packing, and then I think I'm gonna go shopping with my sister-in-law, and then it's my brother-in-law's birthday this weekend, so we're celebrating that. So yeah, kind of a busy day. I still need to pack all for us. And then I wanna go to the grocery store so I can get some like breakfast foods and snacks for the road. And then I just don't wanna eat out breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. And then I also wanted to get some stuff for lunch so we can like picnic on the beach and stuff. So that is the plan of this Friday, super packed. And I wanna edit this vlog and get it uploaded. So wish me luck that I get it all done. Okay, I wanted to show you guys what I do to pack, and especially since this is the first time that we have our baby, I had to make a detailed list. So you guys are gonna laugh at me, but this is literally just for Rocky. I would way rather be overprepared than spend my time like shopping for things at the store that we forgot. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna super overpack and just be overprepared so that we're good to go. We're also considering just bringing his stroller bassinet instead of like his actual bassinet, just to like eliminate some of the things because I don't know if all of this is gonna fit in the freaking car, but a girl can hope. It's gonna be anywhere from like 75 to 85 degrees, and then I think at night, let me look. It's currently 75 degrees right now um, and partially cloudy, and so yeah, on Tuesday it'll be 85 with a low of 66, so we kind of need to have like hot clothes clearly, but also like some warmer options. So that's why I have like so many outfits for him because I'm gonna have like two just in case he spits up and then a hot and a cold one, if that makes sense. So that's three total for four days. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna go pick through like his clothes and see what I wanna bring once I'm done eating lunch. And I have to be quiet because he's asleep in there, but he was just at, we call Mimi, my mom. Um, and he didn't sleep over there. My mom just like loves interacting with him so much. So he's extra tired right now. So I'm gonna try and be quiet and get the packing done before I need to go. Okay, I have made quite a good dent on this list. There's a few things on here that I can't pack because he's using it. Like his snuggle me, his swaddle, the car seat stroller, like things like that. But this is basically everything that I'm gonna put into his suitcase. But I'm gonna show you guys really quick just like what I have. Okay, so I have a wild bird sling, a Solly baby sling, and then a copper pearl cover, like nursing cover. We have a couple beanies, some socks, shampoo, conditioner, 
couple bottles just in case I do decide to pump. Sometimes he gets like super irritated while breastfeeding, so I will give him some of my express milk, so that's there. Bag bomb for his butt if it gets a rash, diapers, wipes, um, some binkies and binky clips. This is like the first aid kit area. I need to double check that he can take this, but I'm just gonna bring it just in case. Some books to keep him company and we read books at night with him. A bath towel. These are all swaddle blankets because we use these for spit up rags like all the time. So I have literally like so many, but I also brought some burp cloths just in case. Um, this is an extra swaddle and some washcloths. I have my breastfeeding pillow and then we have the diaper bag. I have a bunch of like plastic bags in here just in case like he spits up or like poops on an outfit. We can put it in there. And then I just have this packed as if like we were going out shopping or something like that or to dinner. So that's just like kind of all normal stuff. I have a changing pad in here as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these bags and I'm going to put his clothes into them. So like these ones right here are all like warmer clothes and these are all colder clothes just to make it easier when it comes to looking for an outfit for him so that is what's going on here we are also using this suitcase for him which this is the suitcase that we bought for the hospital which is just like so crazy that we're using it for a trip now i was so excited to do that all right i'm gonna shove all this in his suitcase <laughs> Okay, so this side is literally just swaddles and burp cloths. I don't know how practical packing that is, but whatever. <laughs> and then I got everything else in here. So like I said, there's like the towel and the wraps, all of his clothes, the first aid kit stuff, that kind of thing. So it all fits super nicely. This stuff I'm gonna keep in his diaper bag so it's just like easy access for us. And then like this stuff too. I know this looks like a mess, so I'll show you here in a second. So I have some diapers and wipes in here, his changing pad, the books. I want all of this like just easily accessible in the car so like if he's getting fussy, I can entertain him. A couple bottles just in case, like I said, and then a change of outfits, a burp cloth, hand sanitizer, and then all of his binkies ended up in this little packet or pocket right there. And then I'm just gonna throw this cover on top, get my wallet in here, and we are good to go. All right, you guys, I am going to finish up just packing for myself here and get this trip going. So we're gonna be leaving in the morning and I'm so hoping I can get this video out for you guys. But if not, you'll see it sometime before the trip to California. So anyways, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.